Field Service Lightning is equipped with a powerful optimization engine. It allows service operations to automate scheduling processes while aligning systems' behavior with organizational KPIs. Identifying an optimal employee for each service appointment is a two-step process, zooming in only on those who are qualified for the job, followed by identification of the most optimal candidate. Imagine you run a 100-man strong service operation. A new service appointment just came in and you need to assign it to someone. The work rules, serving as hard yes-no qualifiers, take a split second to narrow down the mobile resource list to the select few who technically got what it takes to get the job done. Having the right skill, being available within the desired time frame, working in the right service territory, and much more. In our next video, we will explore the 11 work rules available in Field Service Lightning. Now with a few qualified candidates in hand, service objectives will help to define the most optimal resource for the job. Clearly what constitutes optimal will vary greatly from one service organization to another. One might be concerned about top customer service levels, aiming to schedule as soon as possible at all costs, while other will look to contain these operational costs such as overtime and travel. Most often companies will strive to strike a balance between these. In one of our next videos, we will explore the six service objectives available in Field Service Lightning. With service objectives in play, we can now zero in on the most optimal, as per the company's KPIs, mobile employee. This logic is leveraged in every scheduling decision made by Field Service Lightning, when booking appointments, when smart scheduling on the Gantt, or leverage in the full-blown optimization for bulk scheduling of a day, a week, a month, or even a broader horizon.